Hey guys and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the best builds for a new Barak. This information will be valid until the next major patch, so off the 2nd of May 2015. Statistically, a new Barak is doing mediocre, currently on a 53.2% win rate. Right now the most successful build, which I call the Sustain build, is the following. Regeneration Master, Legion of Beetles, Leeching Scarabs, Locust Swarm, Burning Rage, Blood for Blood, and Hive Master. This build has a 72.4% win rate at this time. This is a very tanky build designed to go into fights and now sustain the enemy. As you can see, pretty much all the moves that a new Barak will do will heal him or protect him in some way, and also do damage. Through it being the beetles that he spawns that heal him to his heroic ability which does massive healing and damage. This build is designed to initiate into team fights and lead your team into the team fights. With that said, the sustain is pretty high, which will allow him to win some 1v1 encounters. If done correctly, you will be able to soak up a lot of damage for your team, still survive and wipe out the enemy team or push very hard. Try to make sure as many enemies as possible are in your locust radius. Locust swarm also applies to enemy minions too, giving you even more healing. Do not use your heroic ability at very low health, as the burst from the enemy will kill you before you can regain health. Always look at it as a way to soak up damage and not to restore yourself back up to full health. Another build I use sometimes, which is pretty good, is what I call the Beetle build. This build consists of Assault Scarab, Legion of Beetles, Leeching Scarab, Locust Swarm, Symbiotic Armor, Beetle Juiced, Hive Master. This build has a 70.1% win rate at this time. This build relies purely on your beetles. This build excels very well in PvE, such as laning or doing mercenary camps. Built like this, a new Barox beetles will push lanes really hard, even harder than Avatar's Locust build. Although it does well in PvE aspect, it drops off in the PvP aspect, particularly team fights. A new Barak will still be a very important member in team fights, however due to most of his power coming from his beetles, which are easily killed and cannot target vital enemies, it does not do as well as the sustain build. However, due to the beetles, a new Barak can do more PvE tasks with great ease, such as camps and even soloing bosses. If your team is lacking a specialist and you have someone else who is a very good tank, like Muradin, then I would advise this build. Lastly is my own personal build, I call this my hybrid build, and this consists of Regeneration Master, Legion of Beetles, Erdicating Spines, Locust Swarm, Chintius Plating, Blood for Blood, and Hive Master. This build is sort of like a jack of all trades, it works very well for me, and the additional AoE damage from your shield I find is very useful on grouped enemies and lanes alike. I find that a shield gets eaten away very quickly, so the plating helps out with that, and is nearly impenetrable for a few seconds. Along with Blood for Blood, Regen Master, and my favorite heroic ability, Locust Swarm, it gives you good sustain in team fights. All in all, I find this build the middle point between the two previous builds, allowing Noob Rock to excel in both PvP and PvE. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and always remember there is no one build that will win them all. I advise you to be creative and make your own builds that work for you. If you want more information on Heroes of the Storm and even get your own MMR, go to hotslogs.com. This is a very good website, and I very highly recommend it to you. Well, see you next time.